The Atlanta Hawks have been the surprise team of the playoffs and they continued to give the opposition all they could handle in Game 1 of their Eastern Conference Finals series against the Milwaukee Bucks as Trey Young recorded a new career high with 48 points to lead his team to a 116-113 win. In addition to his 46 points, Young also registered 11 assists and 7 rebounds for Atlanta to help them ice away the victory in Game 1. Young didn't do it all by himself though as John Collins turned in a spectacular performance of his own, finishing the game with 23 points and 15 rebounds. On the other side, Giannis Antetokounmpo set the tone for the Bucks, as he typically does, finishing the game with 34 points, 12 rebounds and 9 assists. J. Ru Holiday was also fantastic for Milwaukee as he contributed 33 points, 10 assists and 5 rebounds to the Bucks' effort but, in the end, it wasn't enough. With the win, the Hawks take a 1-0 lead in this best-of-seven series. Game 2 is scheduled for Friday night at Fiserv Forum with the opening tip set for 8.30pm. E.T. Here are three key takeaways from the game. No player has raised their stock as much as Trey Young during these playoffs. After yet another masterpiece, he's making a real argument that he's one of the best offensive players in the league. Not only can he score at all three levels, but his quickness and playmaking completely warp opposing defenses. The Bucks certainly felt that effect on Wednesday night, as Young carved him up for a career-high 48 points, 7 rebounds and 11 assists on 17 for 34 from the field. Because of Young's pick-and-roll threat, Milwaukee couldn't keep Brook Lopez on the floor, which came back to bite them big time on the glass late in the fourth quarter. With his big night, Young joined Luka Doncic as the only other player in NBA history to put up at least 45 points and 10 assists in a playoff game before turning 23 years old. He also tied LeBron James and Dirk Nowitzki for the fourth most points in a conference finals game. If that wasn't enough, he scored or assisted on 72 of the Hawks' 116 points, which is the most ever in a conference finals game. At one point, he was so confident that after he completely shook J. Ru Holiday on the perimeter he stopped and paused for a long time before draining a three-pointer. As great as Trey Young was in this game, the Bucks still had a seven-point lead with four minutes to play and seemed to have seized control of the game. They were at home, all the momentum was on their side and it felt like they would see out the game from there. And perhaps they should have considering they got an initial stop on five of the Hawks' final seven possessions down the stretch, not counting trips where the Bucks fouled intentionally. Unfortunately, for the Bucks, they couldn't get the requisite rebounds to close out those possessions and ended up giving the game away on the glass.